Jaya means victory, by the way. We are talking about conscious uncoupling. And uh, the topic for this specific video is dissolve the coupled agreements consciously. Um, when uh, you enter into a relationship, when you enter into coupling, you agree to certain things, whether it's conscious or not. You know, you are my girlfriend, you are my boyfriend, you are my husband or my wife, my. There is a sense of belonging, there is a sense of attachment to something. There is also prioritizing, there is also a need for safety, there is a need for clarity, a need for transparency. And so a lot of these qualities that we anchor into the couple, uh, when you're in coupling, somehow, sometimes you forget to dissolve them. You forget that, hey, those wants are no longer valid. And for instance, when you're in couple, uh, your partner or your ex no longer has the right to tell you what to do. You know, the, the control patterns that were there before, for instance, if you transition and you start dating somebody else, then the, the control patterns are, can no longer be applied. And so if you stay within a couple mindsets and then you are no longer a couple, that's going to create a conflict. It's going to create um, uh, tension, disturbance and friction in your field and in the field of your couple. Because suppose that, for instance, you uh, see your ex with somebody else, right? They start dating and then you get reactive to that or you attack them or you, you fight back or you get really reactive, uh, needy or controlling. You go like, well, that woman is no longer your girlfriend or that guy is no longer your boyfriend. You have no right to tell them what to do. So the controlling pattern that wants to hook your power into that person's life is no longer appropriate. They have the right for self-determination and they are free from now on. The fact that they want to be considerate of you or not, that's not a story. You know, it's their choice. They say, well, I can see that if I was dating that person that would hurt you, therefore I'm not going to date them. Or I can see that it, it can hurt you and I'm not responsible for your feelings. Okay, so this conscious transitioning is very important because there are certain qualities that you want to dissolve consciously. And the way to do that in a very simple way is to sit with your partner. You know, you sit with your ex, with your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend or ex-wife or ex-husband. And you look at them straight in the eyes and you do a conscious uncoupling ritual or celebration or discussion, conversation, a chat. And by doing that, you are going to anchor new values and new agreements. And here is what it can look like. If I'm breaking up or if, if I'm transitioning out of a relationship with a girlfriend, an ex, then I can look at her straight in the eyes and go like, you are no longer my girlfriend. You are no longer my priority. From now on, I am free to do whatever I want. I no longer give you the right to control, direct or have demands on me. I am free. I have no right to control or direct your life. We are both free. If you ask me questions about my personal life, I am free to answer or not. Transparency is not a given. Even honesty is not a given. I will tell you more about the, the different values that you can anchor and the exact ones that I think match a positive or harmonious or expensive transitioning uh, period. But for now, just listen to this. Listen to those core things that you have been doing in your relationship and that you no longer want to do. And so in anchoring these, um, you know, these new values and these new patterns, you are going to reprogram the core of your relationship to to new, um, yeah, to new mindsets and new uh, unspoken or spoken agreements. I hope that makes sense. I love you.